Hello everyone, my name is Pokesham. Today we're going to be talking about the patch note that dropped today on Pokemon Unite. And we're going to see the changes, the bugs, the nerves. Some of the nerves were very unwanted, I'll be honest with you. I didn't like it as much, but what we got to do. We're going to first start with Absol. It's that increase. We don't know about how much. Probably later on, I'm going to start checking and studying Absol. I probably might drop a video today or tomorrow about Absol. Uh, the first buff. As you may see, oh, probably it could be a nerf. I have to check with Pokemon Unite DB. Cycle Cut changed to has the user attack with blades formed by psychic power that decreased the movement speed of the opposing Pokemon for a short time when the po when the move hits. Also, after this move hits, the user's attack deal additional damage to opposing Pokemon up to three times. So that's kind of great change let's see how it goes with the original i barely use apps so i'm more of a support defender po a person who uses pokemon but in all reality if we're gonna go attacker i think my main will always be pikachu so let's go with psycho cut right now it says absolute throws a wide slash in front damaging and slowing enemies for two seconds this debuff lasts for five seconds and applies extra damage the next three times absolute hits the debuff because a pokemon with an auto attack or a cycle cut cycle cut has 15 percent increase in critical hit rate so basically it i you, i don't see the um, you st it, the debuff is still there and the additional damage is there but there's it looks like they it's like a little bit of a nerve because it did let me see. It did nerf the fifteen percent increase in critical hit rate. That a critical hit rate really helped. Absolutely do that one hit. But let's see what's the rest of the moves. Uh, pursue. Uh, range increase. Okay, pursue plus movement speed increase strengthen. All right, let's see how. Pursuit is. I know a lot of people have been having a little bit of wonky uh, abilities using apps, uh, Pursuit. Absolute damages to a location. Damage, uh, dashes to an enemy with its next basic attack. If Hapsul hits the back of the target, the ability cooldown is reduced. If it fails to hit the back, damage is reduced. Okay, so uh, Absol gains 25%. Increase uh, movement speed for two seconds after the initial dash. So, yeah. So basically, it's, it's more of a buff. Yes. Even though. I'm still a little bit thinking about Psycho Cut because... Alright, this is, could be a, uh, even more of a buff and not because of the stats increase. But that's, that critical hit rate really... It kind of messes up because that's what Absol relies on. On Razor Claw and, um, oh my god, how I can't even think about it. This will happen when the morning coffee is not really kicking in. Yes, yeah, Scope Lens. I was about to say Special Attack Lens, but I'm like, all right, so the next one is Crossu. Let's go to Cross right here so we can, um, blah, 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 blah. As right here, Crustle says, Rock Tomb, chain to split open the ground toward the designated area, dealing damage to opposing Pokemon in the area of effect, decreasing the movement speed for a short time and creating a barricade of rocks. If this move is used again, the barricade is removed. A Rock Tomb Plus, change to strengthen this move movement speed, decrease on opposing Pokemon it hits, and Stealth Rock move upgrade. Okay. Let's see um, the abilities. Okay, Rock Tomb. Cross emits a beam that deals damage and creates a curved wall around the designated location. When the wall rises or despawns nearby and enemies that are damaged, the wall lasts for three seconds and it can be canceled early. Each hit uh, definitely uh, inflicts two seconds of a slow. All right, so basically, basically you, you get the slow earlier than normal yeah so it's basically earlier than normal and then right here is more is basically more of a how can i say a debuff in speed even longer so you get the debuff early 
splits the ground. Alright, so it's basically more of a buff because you, you're you uh, debuffing your enemy's speed. Okay, and the move upgrade for Stealth Rock. So basically they're trying to make uh, Rock rock Tomb and Stealth Rocks more, you know, more playable, more usable. Now Charizard. Um, I'll be honest with you. I don't know why it's the nerf on Charizard, to be honest with you. Don't get me wrong. Some Charizard players are very good. There's other ways of mitigating it. But flamethrower damage decrease. One, uh, before it was uh, 1,162. And now it's uh, 1,105. So basically it's about uh, 50 to, uh, 57 damage decrease. And 1,565 with, with burn. So let's see right here. Flamethrower. Let me All right. Let me see damage increase. So there's a little bit of a little bit of difference. Basically a 57 difference. Okay. Fire blast uh movement speed decrease weaken. So basically the debuff in in fire blast. Eh, it could be a little bit decrease. And it's okay because sometimes don't get me wrong. It's the decrease. It kind of hurts a little bit, but not as effective as other Pokemon when they do the debuff to you. The movement speed debuff has weakened, but um, probably the Charizard meta is is not as strong as in NA as in other countries. I know Japan uses uh, Charizard a lot. I don't know India. I don't I haven't seen much the Indian meta, but I have to see right now. Serena Stomp damage decrease. Uh, 1370 first hits, 2198 charge hit so all right as you may see the first hits for serena the number is not there right let me see if i could get the calculation from what i saw last time there you go done the thighs all right so we're gonna see stomp i don't know if they do the damage calculation right here but all right so stomp actually the first hit right the first hit is always gonna be 1462 they don't say right there in survey but i know it because i i'm trying to practice with serena because my friend is very good very good not i can say godlike but amazing with serena and he uses it a lot and if you see the first hit is always 1462 all right or you could say 1470 so it's, it's basically a hundred less but the big change is that when it's um you see the 2198 charge hit you can actually say see the difference because the charge hit before was 2398 right no it was 20 2400 so basically it's basically a 202 damage difference and and you you know you say it's 202 damage but you got to think Serena does immense amount of damage it whoever is great with it amazing with it but 200 and the first one is 100 and then the other one's a 202 so it still do damage it's not you know it's a great amazing nerf but it's it's still okay now we're gonna go to snorlax um i'm a big snorlax fan listen i like defenders greeting snorlax slow bro especially slow bro you know you gotta respect the bro but Snorlax, I've been wanting to play with him for very, a long time. His special defense stat increase from 400 to 4, 440. Right? Heavy slam cooldown reduce from 7 seconds to 6 seconds. So it's a 1 second difference. It's not bad. That's great. Block cooldown reduce from 11 seconds to 9 seconds. And this is amazing because a lot of people think, oh, it's 2 seconds. But 2 seconds can mean a lot one second can mean a lot sometimes the games are so fast paced that every set every little bit of second counts do not let it uh you know bother you with it. power nap unite charge rate increase it doesn't say much power nap effect duration increase let me see if uh, a unite db already put up patch notes let me see um no they haven't they haven't yet no Probably I'm gonna do an update it if they do if because you normally Unite DB always has um more detailed information. But 
Hey, Serebii is always my go-to in Pokemon. I don't care what nobody says. Espeon, Psy Shock, duration of effect increase. Psy Shock, movement speed decrease, strengthen. Okay. So basically, it's going to be more uh, more of a debuff and uh, more debuffs, which is great. I think uh, Espeon needs it. Espeon is quite okay. But uh, let's hope how it plays off. Psy Shock damage increase. So the first one is 1295. And it then increased to 1409 first. So that's basically, if you think about it, uh, that's 100, 114 damage increase. Not bad. The second one is 1540 to 1716. So that's normally about, uh, yeah, 176 damage increase if I'm not if I'm not wrong. And then the the final total is 2835. Right? And then it increased to 3125. So basically give and take that's a hundred wait. 290 if I'm not mistaken. Yes, 290 uh, extra damage. So it's quite a big big increase. Let me see. Psy beam damage increase 1239 to 1631. That's big increase. That's good over. Uh, that's 392, if I'm not mistaken. The second one stays the same. That's kind of interesting. Um, in sorry if the light is reflecting my light, eh, my eyeballs. And the total is 7238 and increases 7630. So that's easily also about good 392 as well. Big damage increase, big damage. So side beam is really, really amazing. All right, now store power, damage increase 278 per hit to 346 per hit. So that's basically about 60. 68 damage increase 929 to 1137 that's a good yeah good one if i'm not mistaken 198 increase and then 1763 with 25 21 in total that's amazing that's a good 600 658 increase that's a lot so basically they're trying to make store power increase because store power was not doing so much good. It wasn't doing that much damage and the store values was good between the side shock, side beam and store power. And now store power has a HP restoration because the future site in store power, it always hits. It always hits. So this is going to be used very good because HP restoration is going to be even bigger. You're going to be seeing the changes. So I think I'm not going to lie to you. I'm, I'm going to practice with Espeon. To see how good it is. I might do a video about him with those increases. Pikachu stats increase. I'm a Pikachu main. I just be what was it? I just don't use that much Pikachu because sometimes I need to be Blissey or Hoopa or Tank. But when I when I get rolling with Pikachu, Pikachu. Alright. Too much love for Pikachu. You're gonna be seeing this YouTube this YouTube channel is is gonna be dedicated to Pikachu. All right, now Mammal Swine, Icicle Crash, Cooldown Reduce, nine seconds to eight seconds, which is great. Wanted, like I said, every second counts. And I love this Ice Fan, Cooldown redu Reduce. La la, sorry about that. Cooldowns reduce, ten seconds to seven seconds. Amazing. That three seconds could do so much. Could do so much. And a lot of people, I think that's the reason why Ice Fang doesn't do it. Even though Ice Fang is good for isolating one Pokemon. Because when you isolate one strong Pokemon, it could be the biggest change on getting Dreadnought, Rotom, or Zapdos. Or even sometimes protecting your gold. A lot, you know, even though a lot of people want more of a compound where you um attacking everybody. Like Icicle Crash do an, a 360 AoE. Uh, drop, but the Ice Man can isolate one strong. It could be a jungler. Sometimes you can isolate a Greninja, and that could save your game, right? But and like I said, it's very good. Mammal Mash, Unite Change Rate Increase. I don't know by how much, but I'll probably make a video about him. 
uh, because oh you know we have an amazing um fans that you be posting it in in twitter be posting in reddit and in unite db and in youtube so we might have you know we have such an amazing community and support with each other that i think we're gonna be seeing everything like that well those are the patch notes i hope everybody has an amazing good day sorry for this video to be so short please subscribe for more future content i hope everybody has an amazing good day goodbye now